looking for a win, that's for sure. Here we go, heat number 18 takes her up very quickly indeed. It's a level break on the inside. Janowski has made it. He hits the front. Cabarrus comes through in the second place. Here comes Smarfik. Oh, what a move. Oh, there's drama there. Oh, oh. That's a big crash. Yeah, Kibera took the brunt of that, I think. Unfortunately. Uh, four doesn't go into one there. Um, uh, Leon Madsen is the only survivor. And uh, there was a move down the inside. And so that was a simple case of none of those riders knowing where the other was going to go. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If we see that one again, people swapping places coming into that corner. Just nobody knew where, where they needed well, to move out. Miracles the upon miracles. They're all on their feet. Unbelievable. And uh, it will be an interesting decision now for the referee because somebody's going to get excluded here. Yeah, Janoski loses his momentum. Front wheel comes on there. That allows Smarsling to get there quick. But Madsen up the inside. Ooh. He starts the domino effect. And uh, oh, Kubera slams into the bite there of Janoski. Because it wasn't helped by Janoski just losing his momentum there because everybody caught him up very quickly. But Madsen could have backed out of that, chose not to. And uh, I'd have to say, if I was the referee, I would be saying that uh, Leon's moved Janoski over and he would have to go for that. He's coming very narrow there. Yeah, straightened him up straight into Smarslik and Kibera with absolutely nowhere to go. And if that is the case that Madsen gets thrown out here, it's that'll be the end of his over. night. And uh, Craig Ackroyd, yeah, blue exclusion light is on. And Leon Madsen is out of heat number 18. Disappoint disappointment for Leon Madsen. Dramatic scenes behind him. Look at that. Bikes mm. and bodies mm. everywhere. High speed at the end of this straight. Yeah. Pleased to see them all on their feet, but uh, disappointment for Leon Madsen. Tried to take the opportunity, but uh, didn't quite pan out. And really decent of Leon Madsen, just checking that all the other riders were okay. It was a nasty crash out there. Yeah, you know, it wasn't with attention. You know, I, I saw that I was uh, a bit faster than uh, Dominic on the straight, and I couldn't see magic from on the outside. And then uh, suddenly going into the corner, he obviously is turning left because Bartek was also there. And yeah, there was just no room for us, and uh, some just unfortunate, you know. But luckily, everyone is okay. And uh, yeah, I'm out of the semis, and that was. Uh, that was not what I was aiming for. It's uh, getting tough now to reach that top six, but um, still a few, ra few rounds left to go. Yeah, Leon, the, the momentum was coming on your side tonight, and it looked good, and it looked like you were in. I mean, it's been fierce out there, but it looked like you were going in for the semi-finals. Do you agree that it was the right call to be excluded? Yeah, I don't want to go into the decision. That's up to the referee. Yeah, it's, it was... Uh, it just it wasn't with the, it wasn't my attention you know it's I just saw the gap and I was faster than Dominic so I went for it but unfortunately it wasn't enough space for all of us and uh, like you said I was I was getting momentum we we changed the bike for the last race and it was a lot better and I I felt I had the speed so it's a uh, it's a really a bummer that I I can't make it to the semi-final tonight. We go again in Riga. Yeah we do. Leon thank you. Thank you. Back to you. Yeah, thank you, Abby, exactly. and uh, very gracious of Liam Madsen to come forward like that. He, he could have been a lot more frustrated about it, but uh, a very level-headed interview there. Has a lot to, long to wait, because in seven days' time we'll be in Riga, where he can try and uh, make more progress.